uh, is an author, trainer, philanthropist. She previously worked in the banking sector for over 20 years before choosing to pursue her passion. She now runs her own business to help fund her charitable initiatives in India for the aged, the children, youth, the disabled and women in need. She won the first runner-up award for Asian Women of the Year 2012. Her story based on her book Indian, Indian English includes being featured on the BBC, Channel 5, in the Times and The Independent, amongst others. And it's now being turned into a Hollywood film. Her talk today is Get a Winning Hand. Please welcome Gillian Hassan to the stage. We've all been dealt a hand of cards in life. Some of us choose to accept that hand and work with it, and some of us choose not to accept that hand. Which group are you in? I would like to share a short story with you based on my life to illustrate this point. My father was a captain in the British Army and saw action in World War II. On a post into India, he fell in love with the country and the weather and chose to stay there after India was made independent. However, the cards that my parents were dealt were not winning cards. I lost four siblings to poverty, malnutrition and starvation before the ages of six months. We lived hand to mouth in a slum where more than 3,000 people shared three toilets. I was only seven years old at the time when the fifth sibling was brought home and she was given just three days to live. She was so weak and so ill at the time that it felt that the world had given up on us. The country had given up on us, and the doctor for sure had given up on us. However, I loved this little baby who was just one day old. To me, it was like to play with a little doll who was alive. But she was so ill and so weak, and I just wanted nothing more than to save her life and to change her cards. My parents had accepted their fate. Who was I at the age of seven to change anything? I was quite weak myself. I was afraid of my own shadow, to be honest. I had no clue where to start and how to start. I always clung to my mother's skirt or to my older siblings for protection and comfort. But something in my little heart and my mind clicked. And to the amazement of the people around us and to myself, I started to help this little baby girl to get better. Do you ever find that you do not like the cards that you've been dealt? Have you ever wondered how you could change that? I didn't accept the cards that I was dealt. But I had to first start with believing that it wasn't a losing hand that I was dealt. I could make that change. Not to say I understood any of this at the time. <laughs> I did three things. I didn't give up. I never gave up. I took that little powder in an envelope that the doctor gave us and I mixed it with water and I watched this old clock on the wall and I fed her that medicine every two hours. But I learned that you never give up until you get what you want. 
second thing I did was I taught myself how not to be afraid of failure. I knew the odds were against us. I knew we had had multiple deaths in the family already. But I wasn't afraid to try. Because failure is only a stepping stone to success. And if you're afraid to fail, you will never succeed. The third thing I learned was to ask. My father always said, it doesn't matter if we are starving. You don't ask anyone for anything. You don't ask for help. But I ran to the local tea shop with a little bowl in my hand, and I asked that tea shop person, please, could you give me a little milk? Because you know that my, we have a little baby who's done. And he gave me that milk every single day for months, free of cost. And I am so pleased to tell you that my sister today is alive, mm. way past three months and three days, and just gave birth to a baby girl last month and has named her Samantha.